And I want to just briefly comment about those, the other candidates, but the organization known as the Elizabeth Board of Education, which is, is frankly a terrorist organization because they are a group of people that will stop at nothing to try and, and gain power. And they frankly terrorize their employees, 4,000 employees. Uh, and you want to talk about a disgrace and people uh, people uh, not uh, playing by the rules and hiding things. And frankly, it speaks to the I governor like as well. It speaks. It speaks to the governor as well. It speaks to the governor. Excuse me, Mr. Sullivan. This is our opportunity to speak. I apologize. Thank you. Thank you, Chair. Uh, Mr. It speaks to. Uh, what this governor is all about. Because after a, 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 a total investi investigative article in Star Liquor and a number of uh, editorials, and people that I know, that Freeholder Estrada knows, that we used to work with, um, and the, the things that were done to them uh, in the name of elections is just a disgrace. So I think the voters, have to, again, had the common sense to turn away from that. Uh, and I hope, frankly, something's done because it's, it is just awful. And these are people that I know, people who uh, I've known for years who work there, who feel they have a gun to them, uh, and they have to do that. And it, it, it's just it this very sad state of affairs there, but I'm glad to see that they were turned aside, and frankly, Senator Lesniak and Senator Frank and Keanu deserve to be elected, and they were, along with the uh, freeholders. 